Foodie, hi, and welcome. I'm Anna the Keto Foodie, and today for Foodie Friday, we are making chicken wings. In the oven, wonderfully crispy, delicious. I'm doing a peri-peri seasoning. You can do whatever you want. Stick around, I'll show you how to do it. So if you know me, you know I love chicken wings. Love them, super love. I can eat them all day, every day. And being on keto, yay, we can have them. Because the skin has a wonderful fat content. Oh, just, you know what? I, I can go to town on them uh, if I want to. Of course, keeping, uh, keeping in mind that you fit them to my macros and make sure that the sauces that I put onto them are nice and keto friendly, that they're not full of sugar. And, um, and once you can do that, boom, it's all done. Now, yes, you can fry them, but I don't want to spend a lot of my oil frying them. Um, and some people do them in air fryers, which is fantastic. We've done them in an air fryer and they've come out beautifully and nice and crispy, sure. What if you don't have an air fryer? What if you just want to use your oven? I figured it out with the help of my good friend, coconut flour. Coconut flour, you say? Yeah, coconut flour. And believe me, you don't taste it at the end of it all. But what you do get is this wonderful, crispy, flavorful, crunchy chicken wings that you can just enjoy. So enough talking, let's get to it. So we're starting off with the chicken wings, and I would recommend not doing more than 10 to 12 wings at a time. I'm also using coconut flour, salt and pepper, and my favorite seasoning, which is Piri Piri seasoning, but you can use any seasoning mix that you want, or you can just leave it with salt and pepper. So first, I'm just going to season my chicken wings with salt and pepper. Once I'm done there, I'm going to take the coconut flour. Now here, we are not using any measurements because it's gonna depend on how many chicken wings you have and understanding that coconut flour is really, really absorbent. So you don't have to use a lot. In fact, for about 10 to 12 wings, I use no more than about three tablespoons of coconut flour. And what we wanna do is make sure that a very light coating is on the wings. What this is going to do is it's going to draw the moisture in the chicken wings. So it's going to dry it out a bit. In fact, if you want to, before you even start this, you can take some paper and just blot uh, any residual uh, water that might already be there to help this process. And when you're putting the coconut flour on the chicken wings on both sides and on the ends, you want to make sure that you get that crease uh, in the middle of the back of the wing where it folds uh, so that it makes the skin nice and crispy. Once you're finished, let it sit for about 30 minutes so that you can see that the coconut flour has continued to dry out the wings. And once you're done, you're ready to put them in the oven. Now how you're gonna do this is you're gonna take a tray, line it with aluminum foil because that will help catch any fat that drips. Place a rack that you can use in the oven on top of it, and then just place the chicken wings on the rack. Now, the fact that it's on a rack will help the air flow um, completely around it, and that will help cook the chicken wings nice and evenly and get everything crispy. Now, while all of this is happening, you're preheating your oven to 210 degrees Celsius or 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I'm going to add my Piri Piri seasoning. Again, you can use any seasoning you want. And I'm going to sprinkle a nice even layer on all of the chicken wings and give it a good pat. Once that's done and the oven is ready, I'm going to put these in the oven for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to take them out and flip them. And then I'm going to put them back into the oven for another 30 minutes. And that is it. Now, after the 60 minutes, you can go ahead and eat these wings as they are. Look at them. They are nice and brown, golden, crispy. They are ready to go. They're seasoned. But I like them with a sauce on them. And that's why I'm putting them into this bowl. I like using Frank's Red Hot Sauce. First of all, it's quite keto friendly. 
And secondly, it just brings me back to my university days because I used to eat a lot of wings <laughs> back at university. So I'm taking these wings, I'm going to put them into this bowl, and I'm going to use some Frank's Red Hot to make them nice and flavorful. Now, this is a small bottle, it's 140 mils, um, and I would just take half of that, so about 70 mils, 70 milliliters, and just pour it over and give it all a good shake. So make sure that you swish it around and flip them really well so that the Frank's Red Hot gets on all sides, and there you go. Nice, beautiful chicken wings that are crispy and flavorful. I've put them on a plate with keto-friendly coleslaw, some blue cheese dressing, and I am ready to go to town. Look at them, they are gorgeous. So make this, let me know how it turns out, and enjoy. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you like what I do, please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you love what I do, consider becoming a patron and enabling more content like this one. Thanks for watching.